Hello friends, welcome to Nandkishor classes. We are going to study a very important topic today. Why 2 to the power 0 is equal to 1? Or we can say any number raised to the power 0 is 1. Why? This is very important question and usually students are unaware about it. That is why we are making this video and believe me this is going to be very helpful. Please listen very carefully. Let's suppose we want to prove 2 power 0 equal to 1. But before that, I would like to ask you one thing. What is 8 divided by 8? If you want to divide 8 by 8, what will you get? You will get 1, right? Because 8 and 8 can be cancelled and you will get 1 only when you reduce it into lowest form. Now, 8 can be written as 2 to the power 3 divided by 2 to the power 3. Because 2 to the power 3 is 8, 2 times 2 times 2. When 2 is multiplied 3 times, you get 8. Now, when 2 power 3 and 2 power 3 values we are having, what I can write now, it is actually 2 to the power 3 minus 3. We have used an exponent rule here. Which exponent rule I have used? This one. a to the power m over a to the power n, it is given by a power m minus n and what is 3 minus 3 this is 0 see I started from 1 going in the reverse way I am reaching till 2 to the power 0 that means 2 to the power 0 is equal to 1 this is very simple proof and in short if I tell you whenever you get power 0 that means numerator and denominator is same that's it you can remember in this way for example, 2 to the power 0, it can be written as 2 over 2. How I can write it as 2 over 2? Because see, only 2 means it is 2 to the power 1. Only 2 means it is 2 to the power 1. That means this 1 will go above, will be subtracted. And see, I am getting 2 to the power 0. That means 2 divided by 2 can be written as 2 to the power 0 and 2 divided by 2 is 1. So what does that mean? That means whenever you are supposed to prove anything raised to the power 0, anything raised to the power 0 means numerator and denominators are same. That is why after reducing to the lowest form, we are getting 1. Now, let's, let me give you one more example based on this. It is like 2 power 0 we have already proved. Let's suppose you are supposed to prove 8 power 0 equal to 1. You want to prove it. So just consider 8 over 8 only. And 8 over 8 means it is 8 power 0. We have already proved because only 8 means having power 1s. And when 1 and 1 are subtracted you get 0. And when 8 and 8 cancelled you are going to get 1. So simple. So do remember whenever power 0 is there that means you are getting numerator and denominator same they are cancelled and you are getting one that's it i hope this concept is clear to you and if you think that this video is helpful for all the students please like it and share it thank you so much